making the difference like everybody would. something new for him when he comes and he seems to bring us great pleasure when he comes and chats with us about his family history. Today he's doing something really terrific again. He's talking to us about the black book and no this is not the little black book that some of you may have had in your youth or he may have had in his I'm not sure but we won't go there today. The black book has a wonderful subtitle American politics as we knew it for five generations. How many of our politicians today can talk about a family history of five generations in the business? Lessons from America's past, 150 years of family history, and on the back of notebooks and, and napkins and things like that just seems extraordinary to me. And the fact that Senator Stevenson here is a big part of that 150 years. I looked in one of our press releases about uh, his part in this, and he goes from Marine, Illinois support, Supreme Court law clerk, state representative, state treasurer, U.S. Senator, gubernatorial candidate, farmer, international investment banker, and public policy activist. And I got that out with one breath. So uh, I think it's terrific that he likes us well enough to keep coming back because we're all going to keep asking him to come. Now I've got some housekeeping details to take care of first. I want to say thank you because these events don't just happen by themselves, although I'm really happy that it feels like that to me when I get to walk up front and say all these nice things. So I want to say thanks to some people. Um, we have a core of people who work very hard on all our programs. Sarah Dick, Tony Tucker, Jan Johnson, I just saw her up above, thank God and uh, a whole core of PR people. Van, Van Schwartz has been working on a number of things. So thanks to all of our Milner people who have worked on these things. Would you please join me? And thank you. <laughs> Additional thanks today goes to our campus partner, the Stevenson Center. You might notice an echo of a namesake in there. Um, Frank Beck was nice enough to host Senator Stevenson, along with some of his people, Frank is in the back, and he was able to uh, recruit a number of students. I don't think you had to recruit too hard, though, did you? And a number of faculty to spend the morning with uh, Senator Stevenson uh, talking about political engagement on campus, the American Democracy Project, the work of the Stevenson Center, Center and a number of other things. So uh, we gave uh, Senator Stevenson and his son, Laura, Stevenson, who's in the back as well. We have a family project going on today. Um, a little of the work of what's happening at Illinois State University. Two other things, housekeeping details. We are selling the black book, so you have an early Christmas shopping opportunity, boys and girls. So if you would like your very own copy or multiples thereof, and would like to have it signed afterwards, there's a Christmas gift, again, doubly valuable. Please stop by the back table and pick up your copies of the Black Book um, and shake, shake hands with the Senator. So we'll be doing that immediately after the speech today. And Milner, we do so many programs and we have such a wide array of interests and expectations of what we do. We have started an assessment program, an evaluation of what we're doing and how we do it. You have found a pencil and a yellow sheet on your chairs. Would you please do us the courtesy of helping us evaluate what we're doing and how we're doing it and fill that out. There is a yellow box on the checkout desk 
as you walk away from the chairs. We very much appreciate your input in helping us and deciding how we go forward with next spring and next year's speaker programs, the kinds of things you would like to see, and a number of other things. So help us out with that. And without further ado, would you help me welcome Senator Adlai Stevens. Empires. China is on the rise. 